We begin tonight with more growth concerns in Baldwin County, this time just outside Fairhope. Residents in a small community are fighting a massive subdivision there, which they say the area is not prepared to handle. NBC 15's Corey Pippen is in Baldwin County tonight. Corey Fairhope's mayor says this could impact the city. Well, Greg, homeowners I spoke to fear their community's infrastructure and public safety services are not prepared for a subdivision this large and in Fairhope. There's also concern about the process of providing the homes water. It is just a disaster waiting to happen. Philip Norris lives off County Road 24, feet from Sherwood Highland Road. And it's along this two-lane road, which connects to Highway 181, where Terracore Development hopes to build a 166-lot subdivision called Sherwood Groves on roughly 51 acres of land near Fish River. This is just a completely wooded area that absorbs a lot of rain and the rest. It's going to be asphalt, rooftops. The water's got to go somewhere. Norris joined dozens of other concerned residents at a Baldwin County planning meeting last night. While the commission delayed a vote to rezone the property, Norris believes they need to do more impact studies. See if the roads are adequate, is the, is the drainage adequate, is fire and police protection adequate. If you've got two kids that have cars, four cars times 166 added to a country lane, it's going to be dangerous. The subdivision is also raising concerns in Fairhope. Mayor Sherry Sullivan says the property, which falls under the city's water jurisdiction, initially received approval for service. That letter told them that they had to upsize the pipes to be able to um, get the water supply that they needed. When the county submitted the plans back to our water superintendent, they were different from the original plans that we saw. Sullivan says the new plan called for putting a sprinkler system in each of the subdivision's homes. We have to know what that means for us. We would have to do a two-inch um, fire line tap to each of those homes. That would be unmetered. Somebody could tap into those lines. There's a bunch of different things that we just need to explore. Let's do the research first to see what the impact will be on the community. Now, Sullivan said the city's recent water problems stem from aging infrastructure and small pipes. Not a lack of supply. The Baldwin County Planning Commission will again hold a public hearing and vote on this pr subdivision proposal. That will happen on Thursday, August 4th at 4 p.m. inside the Central Annex in Robertsdale. Reporting live in Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News. Corey, thank